Good evening. This is Mr. Bogaisky. 7.4 notes. We are uh, looking at regular polygons. We're going to start with a joke. Joe, what did the acorn say when it grew up? Gee, I'm a tree. <laughs> uh, now for the lesson. Polygon is regular. So we're looking at regular polygons. If and only if. What do we do? <laughs> it's interior. Angles are congruent. They all have to be the same. Meaning it would be equilangular. <laughs> and all sides are congruent. So it's equidistant. Knowing that, we're looking at regular polygons today. So it says regular usually in our book. If it doesn't say regular, they're just assuming regular unless they give you a picture. So the first one says, find the measure of one, and we have one underlined and highlighted. So yesterday you are finding sums. Now today we're finding one. So find the measure of one interior angle of a regular pentagon. Well, first off, a pentagon has how many sides? Five sides. So n equals five. We want one interior angle. So what do we do? We'll find the, the sum of the interior, and then we'll divide by the number of sides. Well, the sum of the interior is five minus two times 180 and then we're dividing by 5 well the sum of the interior of a pentagon is 540 540 divided by 5 is 108 another way of attacking this question which I like would be uh, first off what's the sum of the exterior well the sum of the exterior is equal to 360 right and then if it's 360 and it has five sides, the exterior angle, so this is the exterior angle, is 72. Well, what do you know about, in any figure, the, the interior, you know, and the exterior angle? Well, if the exterior angle is 72, the interior angle has to be its supplement. So 180 minus 72, you're still at 108. I like this way better. The answer is still 108 than this way, but both ways will work. Number two, find the measure of one exterior angle of a regular octagon. Octagon has how many sides? That's right, it's the octagon. Eight. Ocho. Okay, find the measure of one exterior angle. So we have 360 divided by eight, giving us 45 degrees. Booyah. Say it. It's nice. Those are questions you want to have more of. Moving along, number three, find the number of sides. So we're looking for the number of sides here of a regular polygon if the exterior angle is 10 degrees. So we know the exterior angle. Okay. So ultimately, we got 360 over N, and we have the answer. So how would we solve this? We multiply by N. So 360 equals 10N divided by 10 number of sides would be 36. Basically, all you're doing is you're taking the exterior, sum of the exterior, you're dividing it by the angle, the exterior angle, equaling your total. Find the number of sides of a regular polygon if each angle has a measure of 171. So this is talking interior because they didn't say exterior. Remember that. So the 171 is the interior, right? So what we would do is, let's do the long way first. Well, we know n minus 2 times 180 over n is equal to the 171, all right? Well, we would solve this by multiplying by n, distributing this. We get 180n minus 360 would equal 171n, combined our stuff. So we're going to move this over. Negative 360 is now equal to negative 9n 
divide by negative 9 and equals 40. What I would do is, I don't like the sum of the interior. I, just like I said for number one, what I would do, if the interior angle is 171, the exterior angle would be its supplement. So that's 180 minus 171, which is 9. 9 degrees for the exterior angle. What I would do then is take my sum of the exterior, divided by the angle, and what do we have? We have 360 divided by 9, giving us our answer. Booyah! Do it the shorter way. Do Work on the outside, right? You know the supplement rule. Okay. For the last, the fifth one here, we have the sum of the measure of the angles of an equal angular polygon, so it's regular, is 2520. So now we have to use the sum of the interior equals n minus 2 times 180. So, 2520 is equal to n minus 2 times 180. Do I want you to distribute that 180? Absolutely not. Divide by 180, giving us that uh, this side ends up being 14, equaling n minus 2. Add the 2 over, so n, the number of sides, is 16. We want to find the measure of each angle. So that's talking interior again because it doesn't say exterior. So the measure of one of them. Well, what's the total? 2520 on 16 sides, giving us 157.5 degrees apiece. And can you have 0.5 for an angle measure? Yes. We said no for a number of sides. Yes for an angle measure. I'm hoping this is, this is falling into place. It's a lot of what we did yesterday, knowing those three formulas um, for it. Number six, the ratio of an interior angle and an exterior angle are in five to one. So interior is five, exterior is one. So if we look at it, interior would be 5x. The completed out here, exterior would be 1x. But what do we know about the interior and exterior? If you said they had to be 180, you've been paying attention. So that's 6x equals to 180. x giving me 30. Name the polygon by the number of sides. All right. Well, once again, do I like working inside? I clearly have said no to that. So my exterior angle is the 1x, which means it's 30. Well, the sum of the exterior is 360 divided by 30, which is the angle measure, is 12. And can I name that figure? It says name. Name that figure. It's a game. It's a do deca gun. Ta da. Great stuff. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. Have a great evening. We'll see you.